Army Regiment does the same duties of reconnaissance and protection that the Divisional Cavalry did in the days of horses. If it runs into light opposition during an advance, its job is to clear it out of the way. The carriers of the Princess Louise Dragoon Guards, 1st Div Recce Unit, come into action. Their job is to clear the enemy from his strong point. A recce squadron has plenty of firepower. Mortar, crump, and heavy small arms fire keep the enemy's head down while the assault troops move up for the final assault. screen of armored cars and carriers to move forward again and sweep the countryside.
Princess Patricia Cypher, reporting in as call sign Mabel. We're at Charlie 3, ready to disrupt enemy lines. First, the new company, Junior Steer. You can call us Baker. We're at Signatoro. Save something builder blown up. Engineers got you covered. Baker here, headed to Kilo 9. Affirmative. 
Let's get these trench lines sorted out. Baker here. These fortifications should stop a bad in their tracks. The main assault force is about to arrive. Baker here, retreating out of the AO. Good luck to the rest of you. Charlie here, we spotted Eagle. How here, we've come to 
completely destroyed an enemy company. Easy here. All right, end the 
Red, Hawk Strike. Three. Talk to your Bravo. Three. It is. Jig here. Roger. Heading to Ponte Corvo. Charlie here. I don't see any of them moving. I think those enemy infantry are toast. Charlie here. Heading to Fox Trot. One. Dog here. We can see Cheetah at Charlie. Four. Easy here. Charlie. Dog here. Get our light box here. Headed to Delta. Three. Dog here. Do we need that? Delta. Six. We're firing upon Gorilla at Charlie. Five. And Cheetah at Charlie. Five. How the units have been wiped out? That'll have to do for now. Commanding forward command post. Easy here. Moving to Greg. Talk here. Roger. Moving to. The units are going to scattered. It'll take a while. Talk here. That's the last we'll see of those enemies. Charlie here. All right. Heading to Grand Charlie. Four. Charlie here. We wiped out the entire infantry company. Talk here. Charlie.
on the Italian front, the fair countryside of the Leary Valley, in all its early summer bloom, is the setting for a crushing drive aimed at the very heart of occupied Italy. The 8th Army has been moved secretly from the Adriatic flank to join the 5th Army. They swing into a frontal attack on German fortified positions, sweeping through them to within sight of the formidable Hitler line. Here, Canadian 8th Army units fight together for the first time in this campaign as a Canadian Corps. They strike the blow which opens the second phase of the war in Italy. Battle-hardened warriors of the Dominion, fighting inch by inch as they move doggedly forward, spearhead the attack on Kesselring's last fixed lines of defense in southern Italy. Preceded by a withering barrage from massed artillery and covered by the full might of our Mediterranean Air Force, the Canadian Corps moves into the deep maze of concrete pillboxes, wire and tank traps, which is the Hitler line. Bearing on their shoulders the burden of a vital mission, Canadian tank men form part of a special task force. They meet stiff opposition from crack enemy troops. Biting into the line to a depth of five miles in relentless close combat, a wide breach is made, allowing our full force to stream through. after the misguided maniac whose minions built it, this impregnable wall was going to halt the advance of the Allied Army. Sledgehammer blows from Canadian armor and infantry cracked it wide open. Prisoners move back in hundreds the crack troops who tried to withstand our blows. Men of the Nazi elite corps, the 1st German Parachute Division, the 19th Panzer Grenadiers, they've met more than their match. There is no halt to our steamroller advance. Pouring up the Leary Valley, the next strong point to be overwhelmed is Caprano. Important as a vital road junction, Caprano is taken after a stiff assault. Before the engineers can throw up bridges, two companies of an Ontario battalion poured the fast-flowing stream to be first in the town. Only 30 Germans are left to dispute the entry. They lie among the ruins. With the backbone of enemy defense broken, with the 5th Army troops cutting all southern highways from their Anzio beachhead, and with Kesselring's 10th Army in full retreat, it's a war of movement and fast movement. Canadians chasing ragged enemy remnants straddle Highway 6 on the way to the capital. Ahead, the shining towers of Rome beckon them on. A last bitter skirmish of armored units and the Allied armies are in possession of the Eternal City. The enemy is suddenly gone from the places for which a few hours before he had been fighting with the greatest savagery. Rome, that ancient ruler of the world, takes her liberators to her ample bosom. Mercifully spared the horrors of large-scale bombardment, her people are in a delirium of joy. They welcome the victors with flowers and smiles while guns still roar close by. The first enslaved capital of Nazi oppression has been liberated. Once more, the ancient forum is full of gaiety and happy throngs. Never again will it resound to the hysterical ranting of power-mad gangsters. The Allied armies will drive forward, forward until all Italy is free, all Europe is liberated from the heel of the tyrant, forward to victory and freedom and peace. <laughs>